All right, we're good to go. Okay, uh, I just wanted to kind of go over some stuff I pre-ordered in the catalog. Doing this on my cell phone, so sorry, the quality's not too good. I just wanted to kind of get this done real fast. Um, first time pre-ordering something. Uh, I mean, I do buy a little bit new here and there, but never done a pre-order before, so that's kind of a big deal. Um, I'm not really going to go over too much of what's in here. It's already been done to death, especially on, uh, you know, the scale stuff, legacy, yada, yada, yada. So, but I did want to mention that I thought this Rock Island Diesel set was pretty cool. And if you haven't read the story over here, it's pretty fascinating. And I do like these, um, these Santa Fe Northerns also. They're pretty cool. Not, uh, not in my price range or in, uh, not real big on that scale stuff, but pretty cool. I always like those, uh maps that santa fe used to use so put that out of there all right so this is where i usually live in the uh back of the catalog in the traditional section so got a lot of, a lot of nice stuff coming out that lion chief 2.0 stuff and then we got the big disney 100 deal and then uh i gotta say i love the finish on this i didn't order one of these but i love that finish, that pearl finish, and that purple, that is really good. I kind of thought about getting one of these, but it's just, you know, you can't have everything. But it, it uh, apparently illuminates inside, and it's, like, kind of translucent. I thought that was pretty cool. So, I thought these were pretty neat, too. Not neat enough to order, but pretty neat nonetheless. I do have one of these on order. I thought that was pretty cool. I couldn't pass that up. Um... I think I think this is going to be a uh, kind of a uh, runaway hit for them. I think they're going to do really well with these, and the price point's not too bad. I mean, uh, most dealers are going to obviously get you better than that two hundred dollars, but you know, uh, it even comes with a two rail uh, tubular track. You know, so it's all in one. It's all included. Pretty neat. Um, I thought the Willy Wonka stuff was kind of neat, especially. Uh, <laughs> Especially with the uh, reuse of the sawmill there, it's kind of a kind of interesting reuse. Uh, Lionel really leans in with the Halloween stuff now, which is cool. I don't see an issue with it. I am surprised to see this stuff. I think it's cool. I don't have any issue with it, but just surprising to see them tackle something like that. This is a nice set. I think this is MTH tooling on that locomotive. I could be wrong. Now I did order this set. I do like the Central Pacific, and I did want to get a nice um, 440 American set, and I really liked it. Uh, Governor Stanford, um, I believe this is actually the first locomotive um, the Central Pacific had, and I believe uh, Stanford was actually um, one of the founding businessmen of uh, the company. He was also the governor, and I believe Stanford University in California is also named after him. Uh, I did not order this. I thought it was kind of neat, but it's not you know era appropriate even though it's neat and i shouldn't worry about that i i'm hoping maybe they do like an add-on set in volume two maybe get us some some freight cars or something or an extra coach so but i did order that I, a lot of people are talking about this set i i think it's pretty cool and then of course you got your usual suspects um i know this has been updated upgraded i should say then uh, here's some more of those 280s, which, again, I think, I, as I said earlier, I think that's MTH tooling. Um, let's see here. Then The John Deere stuff seems to be doing really well for them. And I didn't order one, but I thought this jet, the fl uh, invisible jet, was really cool. And I thought the glowing kryptonite um, for Lex Luthor was pretty neat. Um, this is pretty cool, too, doing the doing the house cars. I think those are going to do really well for them. Uh, let's see here. I did order some of these. <laughs> I mean, with, you know, it, it, they're just cool. You know, just a simple little cool thing. And I think that's pretty neat, too. That's pretty cool reuse of that. Um, I, I think about picking up some of these every once in a while. I, I like the art on them. And then uh, there's been a little bit of a kerfluffle over those I, I really don't see an issue with it and then i believe these are the last president box cars they're gonna be doing for a while so kind of wrapping that series up that is really pretty graphics um, let's see you got the stuff you can personalize 
You get them the Christmas stuff. I thought this was kind of a neat idea. Let's see here. This is a pretty set. I don't know if it's going to sell a lot because it's scale and it's expensive. But it is pretty. I'll give them that. But here's like an old-timey uh, freight set. And I'm hoping maybe they'll do a Central Pacific version of this because they're doing this Christmas one. And they're doing one for Atlantic um, that goes with the uh, the Great Locomotive Chase set where you can get the uh, the General and the Texas. So Western Atlantic set. They got like that. And, of course, they have the, the, the Bobber Caboose too, which... I don't believe they're offering in a Western uh, Atlantic set, but they might down the road. But I'm hoping, since they got that tooling, maybe they'll offer some Central Pacific stuff to go with that starter set down the road. And, uh, oh, this is the other thing. I got the one from a few years ago, and I loved it. And I was like, you know what? I want another one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm a sucker for those. But, uh, other than that, nothing, nothing too mind-blowing. Um, uh, the Christmas stuff otherwise uh, some more reuse of MTH tooling which I think we're going to definitely be seeing a lot of going forward and then I don't remember oh the Warner Brothers Tower that's pretty cool um, I, oh yeah I wanted to mention this I thought this was pretty funny not a lot of people mentioned it but got the, you know, it's got a little underwear up there I thought that was pretty pretty funny your mileage may vary, but I thought it was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty much anything, all the stuff I kind of wanted to cover and mention stuff that I actually did a pre-order on. So, uh, I said, man, that is just a pretty set. I can't justify spending the money on that, too, but that is that is wonderful. And I think Lionel said that they're going to be rolling out more uh, Disney 100 product as the year goes along. Because, like, I know... Let me flip back to this. Because, like, this one here, as you can see, all five colors. Uh, the red, and I think the green is out right now. The red, I think, is available through just about anybody. The green, I think, is um, a Lionel Direct Exclusive. But they're also doing the orange and the maroon. And they're doing, like, a uh, kind of like a black and white, uh, like, shiny, nickel-plated kind of chrome version that looks kind of neat. But they haven't said where that one's going to be available or where the... Other two colors will be, but who knows? One, one, one very well could even wind up being a direct through Disney exclusive because that has been done before. But pretty neat piece of Lionel history. I'm not going to go into it. I'm sure everybody knows the story or can find somebody that can tell them the story better than I can. But pretty cool. And I think this is going to definitely be a uh, interesting hit for them. So, but uh, yeah, that is everything I wanted to go over on this real quick. So happy railroading.